Hi there! This is the first ever episode of Simple Science. Each week we're going to show you another science project or experiment that you can safely do at home without spending a lot of money. Hello there and welcome to Simple Science. Today's project will be a homemade barometer. A barometer is an instrument measuring atmospheric pressure used especially in forecasting weather. The supplies you'll be needing for this project are as follows. A glass jar with a lip around the opening. A large balloon. A soda straw or long coffee stir. Some glue, and this should be the kind of glue that works on plastics. Scissors. Do not run with them. And a roll of electrical tape. Alright, let's get building. First, cut the balloon in half. The dome-shaped half is the half you're going to be using. Stretch the dome half of the balloon over the open end of your jar. This is where the lip on the jar was important. It helps keep the balloon in place. Wrap one layer of electrical tape around the open end of the jar below the lip over the cut end of the balloon. This will hold the balloon in place further and keep it from sliding off. Add a drop of glue to one end of your soda straw or coffee stir. Stick the glued end as close to the center of the balloon as you can get it. Use the roll of electrical tape as a weight to hold down the straw or coffee stir until the glue hardens. Congratulations! After the glue is dried, you have a working barometer. You'll want to print out a graduated scale or use graph paper that you've numbered to help you track the readings. Check and record your readings several times per day. Record your readings every day. High barometric pressure will cause the balloon to be slightly sucked into the jar, causing the other end of the straw or coffee stir to rise. Low barometric pressure will have the opposite effect, causing the balloon to be pushed slightly upwards, causing the other end of your soda straw or coffee stir to drop. Over time, you'll notice that these readings will help you to accurately forecast changes in the weather. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Simple Science. We would just like to remind you that Science is for everyone. And thank you for joining us.